Okay, I showed you two ways to solve systems of equations. All right, solving and graphing inequalities. Which of the following is the graph of this? So graphing inequalities like this, um, if you're given it in this form, I recommend you break it out into two inequalities. So really this is two and one, right? And that's why you see two different graphs kind of in one here, um, almost. So it's really negative three is less than X and then X is less than five. And remember, you might remember in elementary school, like the crocodile rule. So if you have X is less than something, the arrow is gonna be pointing this way because the crocodile sign is pointing that way or the arrow is pointing that way. But here you think, okay, maybe it's gonna be pointing this way as well, but it's actually not because this is written in reverse. You have to have it written in order to follow the crocodile sign rule. You have to have it written in the form where X is first and then you write greater than or less than and then the number. So in this case, it's saying negative three is less than X, AKA X is less than negative three, if you look at it in that way. So it's X is less than negative three. Sorry, X is greater than negative three, my bad. X is greater than negative three. So you're gonna have one arrow from negative three, and they're both gonna be hollow circles, right? No solid circles. You're gonna have one arrow at negative three pointing to the right, just like this. And you're gonna have one arrow at negative five, sorry, at positive five pointing to the left. And so anything in between is shaded. That's really what you're interested in. So answer option E is your answer. Another problem, similar to like the one I did before, but here you're actually solving the inequality using, because there's an unknown value here, you're gonna solve for X. Um, so the way we do this is you treat it as if there's three sides to the problem. So I'm going to do, um, the whole point is to isolate X and get it to a form that looks somewhat like this. I'm going to do that by subtracting 12 on both or all three sides. I end up with negative 30 is less than negative 6 X is less than equal to negative 18. Divide everything by negative 6, right? To, again, we're trying to isolate X. And again, remember, when you multiply or divide a, an inequality by a, a negative number, you end up switching the directions of the signs. So you're gonna think, okay, the answer is negative 30 divided by negative six, which is five, is less than X, is less than or equal to three, right? But you're gonna have to flip all the signs because that's what multiplying or dividing by a negative number does to inequalities. So now you have five is greater than X is greater than or equal to three, which I would rewrite as, again, it's saying three is less than or equal to X, 